sort of late in the game, just felt a pop in my knee um, in a change of direction and yeah, was, end up with a full thickness ACL tear. So the pain in my knee initially when, I, when it happened was a, nice, was a bit of a sharp pain through the knee, um, swelling that followed, just quite a bit of discomfort there. When I found out that I tore my ACL, I was pretty disappointed. Yeah, it's a hard one to take to go from being so active with, and with work and everything to being told that you might be out for sort of eight, 12 to 18 months. My understanding was, and sort of the general consensus about everyone that heard about it was, oh, so when's your surgery? When's your surgery? Met with the surgeon and his surgeon referred me to Kieran. And from there, we started off with the basics and stability and muscle control and then working up to pliers and all through the stages. So when I come to the realisation that surgery was sort of not going to be needed, it was definitely a relief. Great to be able to continue working and continue the process through physio and be back to 100% within six months. So my follow-up MRI showed that it, um, the ACL was actually reattaching itself and it was well and truly healing itself. Going through the process of rehab um, was definitely rewarding. Um, every time we come to a physio appointment to see the progress that was being made through just being able to balance and stability to strength work to then moving into pliers and then into full speed work. It's been, uh, been rewarding and it's been confidence boosting. So there is this growing body of evidence that shows quite a high healing percentage in ACL full thickness tears. The previous thinking was that ACL tears would never heal due to a poor blood supply. But if you look back into the research that suggests this, it was in fact in animal models, such as rabbits and dogs, where obviously it's really difficult to uh, perform a rehabilitation program or put, apply a brace that's going to be effective. There's a general agreement between physiotherapists, sports doctors and surgeons that ACL tears can in fact heal. So this is obviously fantastic news for ACL injured patients. And it's not to say that uh, it will heal in every single patient or that surgery is never an option. But this information and case studies like Daniel's can be presented to patients and as a part of uh, uh, the options for managing someone who's torn their ACL. I was successfully able to return to play for pre-season and build through pre-season and then be, was ready for round one. Um, and we're now at round five and we've got through, no dramas at all, stability's been great, um, contact has been fine. Yeah, last week was a really heavy game with contact and um, no issues at all. It's a lot of bruising around from bumps and stuff, but it's, yeah, it's no issues with the knee, stability at all. We're looking forward to a good season ahead. My advice to anyone that sort of has an ACL injury would be to, would be definitely to seek physio options first, um, not to rush out and book a surgery in a few weeks time. Um, definitely do the work first and see how much you can get stability strength wise, whether you're just a weekend playing sport or like to get outdoors or, um, or you're a professional athlete, it's, um, it's definitely worth looking at the physio option first. Obviously we can't assess the healing capacity of an ACL tear if surgery is performed the next day or a few uh, weeks after the, the injury. We need to give the, the joint and the ligament a chance to heal and assess that uh, in a variety of ways uh, after the patient's been given all of their options for management.